always watched romance anime that happen in schools, but sometimes we want something more <laughs> mature. Which is why we're going to talk about the top 10 office romance anime. Number 10, Ichinichi Nishite Nazaru. Starting off our list, we have something small. This is not a full blown series, but instead, it's what you call an ONA, and it only lasts for a single episode. Ichinichi ni Shite Nazaru follows our girl Mitsuki Hattori, who is just overworking to the extreme just so that she could get promoted and be the right hand woman of Watanabe, her section chief. But she gets the shock of her life when she realizes that she's gonna transfer sections soon. <laughs> To be honest, this is going to be a very, very short watch because even the episode itself only lasts for six minutes. What you can expect is that Hattori tries to make Watanabe notice how pretty she really is. Think of it like a really well animated commercial that you can watch while you're taking a quick bite to go. Number 9, My Tiny Senpai. The title literally is just the anime. It's about a tiny senpai! You see, Takamura Shinozaki is an office worker, and right now, he's one of the luckiest guys in all of Japan, and it's because of Shiori Katase. Shiori is the tiny senpai, and they're not kidding. She's not only tiny, but also incredibly kind as well, which is why Shinozaki's hoping she's doing this because she likes him. The entire story is just purely simple and cute. It's also really wholesome and light because of how the characters interact and the entire series as a whole just captures the light romance it was destined to have. I mean, this isn't like your typical trashy lolly anime. There is a perfect balance between emotion and comedy that you can never get tired of. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. Number 8, The Ice Guy and His Cool Female Colleague. <laughs> when they said ice guy, they were not kidding. Our boy Himuro has a certain special condition where whenever he's concentrating, stressed, or flustered, he suddenly creates a blizzard that just bothers everyone around him. But that was before he met Fuyutsuki because she tried to care for him and she might be the reason he's starting to warm up. <laughs> I just want to know why this is so underrated. It's one of the best workplace romances in anime, and the mature relationship in the series is just so good. The cast is actually really small, but they're just so good, and they interact with each other perfectly. It's not only the cast, but the moments are just small and satisfying. So don't expect anything crazy. Just know it's a slow burn series that's perfect for a relaxing day. Number seven, Server Next Service. <laughs> No, this anime isn't about free labor, also known as the S word. So don't go crazy on the comments, okay? It follows the story of three main characters who recently have become civil servants. First, we have Lucy Yamagami, who just wants revenge, Yutaka Hasabe, who just wants to slack off, and then Saya Miyoshi. They are under Taishi Ichimiya, but he doesn't even know what to do. Oh. 
The character dynamics between them are just insane and at least in some pretty hilarious moments that just make you laugh out loud. It's really fun to see them work together and just be adults. It's also a bit relatable because it kind of portrays the reality when it comes to work. Adults aren't always serious and professional. Sometimes they just want to have fun. As you watch this series, it doesn't get boring and there's always something that'll grab your attention. Number six, working. <laughs> Nothing screams office anime more than a literal series that's titled WORKING! Well, to be honest, this doesn't happen in an office, but in a restaurant, which is technically an office for them. Our boy Takanashi was recruited by Tanishima to work for a restaurant in Hokkaido called Waganira. There, he meets a bunch of people who are so crazy they are going to redefine what actually working means. I don't want you to think that this series has some amazing plot like Evangelion or Berserk. In fact, it doesn't even have a plot at all. Takanashi just goes to this restaurant and interacts with his co-workers and each character has their own unique twist. One has a katana, one is a sadist, and of course the manager has to be lazy. It's a pure slice of life and that just follows their daily life and there's nothing wrong with that. Number 5, Hataraki Man. Did you know that 2006 was already 18 years ago? Yep, you're that old, and so is this anime. Hataraki Man follows our girl Hiro Matsukata, who is currently employed by a magazine company. She's your typical all-around skillful co-worker who can do almost anything, but what makes her unique, or at least normal, is that she doesn't have a love life. With just 11 episodes, you're going to be surprised at just how much this show can achieve. Each episode focuses on one specific challenge, and it's actually written really well. Not to mention, it doesn't rely on fan service or lewd content to become really popular. It's just good. It tries to be as realistic as possible and tackles real-world issues that occur in the office, including romance. You might even learn something from it, especially when it comes to work. Number four, seeing yesterday for me. <laughs> this might sound like your Lion April spinoff, but trust me, it's not. Seeing Yesterday For Me focuses on our boy Uzomui, who is just working in a convenience store and has a pretty boring life. But that's until he met Haru Nononka, who became his friend. And it's not just her. His old college crush came back and it smells like there's gonna be a love triangle that's gonna make their lives very complicated. <sighs> While the others in this list are mostly chill slice of life anime, this one is nothing like that. One person even said that seeing yesterday for me would be what would happen if Scum's Wish and Domestic Girlfriend had a child, which just captures the entire series perfectly. It's a slice of life and sent in at the same time. Number three, After the Rain. <laughs> Now this one's gonna sound pretty weird, but stick with me here. First, we have Akira Tachibana, a pretty quiet high school student who isn't interested in the boys in her school. Why? This is because she's more interested in a person in her part-time job. No, it's not a handsome co-worker, but it's someone more interesting. Yeah, her 45-year-old manager, Kondo. Oh, 
first of all, don't call the FBI because Kondo is not reciprocating any of her feelings, so no laws are being violated here. And what's gonna make you more surprised aside from the concept is that this was animated by Wit Studio, the same ones that animated the earlier seasons of Attack on Titan. If you look past this somewhat bizarre concept, you'll actually find a pretty decent and really well animated anime that you might surprisingly enjoy watching. Number two, Ganbare Doki-chan. To move on from After the Rain, we gotta go back to some classic trashy fan service anime. What better place for it to take place than in the office? Of course, we follow Doki-chan, whose only goal is to seduce Doki-kun. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows because he has some competition for Kohai and Senpai. She does her best, but is it enough? <laughs> <laughs> From the get-go, you already know that this is full of etchy and fan service moments, but who doesn't like that? And it's not a proper series, it's just a slice of life with no plot and the characters' names aren't even real. Like, they're called Kohai Senpai and just Doki. There's not a lot of storytelling here because it's pretty simple and all you have to know is that if you want an anime with a plot, just go watch Sing Yesterday for me. Number 1, Wotokoi, Love is Hard for Notaku. Who doesn't know this series? Love is Hard for an Otaku is a classic, but in case you don't know what it is, here's how it goes. It tells the story of two couples, all four of them being otakus, and their workplace romance. Narumi is being shipped with Hirotaka, while Hanoko is already in a relationship with Taru. We get to see their daily lives, some after-office fun, and Hirotaka and Narumi's blooming relationship. <laughs> <laughs> Wotokoi is a masterpiece. There's no doubt it's captured the hearts of a lot of fans. The romance is so wholesome, mature, and fun to watch. The characters are very likable, and each of them has a very realistic personality, too. All of them shine in their own way, and the romance is being looked through carefully, making sure that there's not a single plot hole. All of this contributes to Wotokoi taking the number one spot in our list of the top 10 office romance anime. Oh, <laughs>